Hello YouTube! Here we have a Magnum 257 HP mobile radio and that was just some lightning that you just heard. <laughs> wow! Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's getting a little, a little stormy out here. Uh, I'm working mobile right now. Uh, I worked a couple of stations in the East Coast yesterday, but uh, today I haven't been able to get anything. I don't know if uh, Old Mother Nature is just uh, acting up or what, but uh, this radio will do 80 watts, and uh, it's got a big old heat sink on the back. I'll uh, try to show you that here in a minute, if I can. The camera is dying, so you have to bear with me. Uh, let's see if we can get a contact anyways. CQCQ, this is 976 Southern Illinois. And nothing. Well, let's see. Uh, let's pull this out real quick, and I'll show you uh, the heat sink and the fans I got on there. As you can see, it's going to be a little hard to see. It's kind of a cramp, but uh, there's the fan, there's the heat sink, coax, and everything. Now, on these on these Magnums, they, uh, oh, come on. Oh, I'll probably put a tiny piece in. Uh, anyways, there we go, got it in. Yeah, we got it back in. Anyways, on these Magnums, uh, the uh, pins, which I broke it off already, it's uh, instead of a five pin, it's a six pin, and they're smaller than the than the older Cobra radios. Uh, the thing is, is that the center pin is your power pin. So what I did is I went inside the radio, put the uh, ground to ground, and the positive of the fan went to that center pin. So if you listen real closely, you might be able to hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, once you uh, turn this on like this, fan instantly starts, and uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.